Evening everybody. Um, well, my subscriptions have gone up drastically over the past couple of days. Uh, they've over doubled, which is amazing. So big thank, t thank you to uh, Kiefer RC model models and RCs um, for doing a little shout out for me. Um, for those of you that are new, I'm Tony. Uh, I did post a video showing off some of my other builds yesterday, um, some previous builds. Uh, so have a little look at that. Uh, I'm currently building the Tamiya Zack Speed Capri. Um, I had a little bit of an incident with it. So when I got the kit, um, I said I wasn't going to build it until I was a little bit more advanced with, with my uh, skills and stuff like that. And I opened it literally a week ago and noticed that the A-pillar on the body shell was currently bent out of shape. Now, I've done a bit of work since, however, to straighten this A-pillar here, let's see if you can see that, yeah. So there, you can see there's still a little bit of a kink to it. Now, I, being an idiot, don't have a lighter, I don't have access to anything that really gives off heat other than my oven. Now, it does have a hob, so I thought, oh, I'll just turn it on, really low heat, hold the car just gently above it, get a little bit of warmth in there, straighten that back out. That was working lovely, except what I actually managed to do was melt the whole edge of this wing, completely warped the bonnet vent, and destroyed the entire thing, basically. So what cost me 90 quid very rapidly turned into scrap. Luckily, I do have a little bit more skill behind me now, and I've managed to reshape the wing, mostly reshape the A-pillar, and I've scratch built a new bonnet vent. It's not to the original specification. This has only got two gaps, whereas the original has three. I've got to do a little bit more filler work around it, but it's definitely a hundred times better than it was when I first, uh, unfortunately, melted it. Now, for those of you that have never built this kit, it's a very basic curbside kit. It's um, it's a motorized kit originally designed to use like a Skeletrix car or slot car um, motor. Um, I'm not building it with that. It didn't come with a motor. I've got no interest in it being motorized. So I'm just gonna build it to look cool on the shelf. Um, the paint that you can see on it is not the final coat. This was me sticking some orange on it to try and get the reflections that I need to see where I need to do more work. And I definitely need to do more work around the bonnet vent and around the uh, back of the wing here. There's a bit of an odd, odd shape to that there, so it needs a bit of putty work on it. Other than that, it's not looking too bad. There's a few deep scratch marks that need to come out where I've done a bit of putty work on it already and needed to sort of work through it, getting rid of some mould lines and stuff. Um, but it's definitely uh, making progress slowly. Um, I need to I need to sort the rest of the body out, but I have been focusing solely on the chassis and the interior. Now, the chassis itself, as I say, it is a curbside kit, so you've got to try and make do with what you can. You've got the bottom of the, the Zack Speed engine there, a um, couple of little uh, pipe work vents for like the turbo and stuff like that. So I've tried to make those look as real as possible with it being a half cast sort of, you know, there's only half an engine. Um, half mould rather engine um, an exhaust system on there and all the uh, axle and everything's in the back luckily the the wheels for this thing are huge on the back so they proper fill in these rear arches um, I'm going to try and I don't know if you can see them on there but there's rivets all the way through the floor pan everywhere that look really smart so I'm going to try and um, sort of highlight those a little bit on the inside, I started on the fuel pumps and the fuel tank and stuff like that. See the rivets a little bit clearer on this, I hope. Um, on all the uh, aluminium plating that they put in the back. I don't really necessarily follow instructions for colours where they need to be, but I think this is how, how I want it. All the tunnels going to go to this aluminium silvery colour as well. Um, few little details still missing like the, the fuel lines here need to be painted still but definitely making some nice progress on it it's a nice little kit nice simple quick build 
which was the plan really. Uh, everything's painted orange, ready to accept its top coat. I haven't put any clear on any of these bits at all yet. I've still got to paint the uh, subframe silver um, and the dashboard and stuff like that silver. But I did do everything in orange just so that everything had at least one single coat of it. These uh, fins or fans for the wheels, turbo fans, I think they call them. Um, I'm not going to be using them. I like the style of the wheel underneath them. They've got a real nice, uh, nice finish to them. All the little details in here. So the dashboard, let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit, bring it up a bit closer. There is some serious detail in that dash. So that's going to be fun to paint up and make that look correct. Uh, the seat, really nicely detailed seat on this with the holes for the harnesses already pre-cut on it for a five point harness on this one as well, which is really nice. It's not very common in any of the model kits I've built so far. Uh, it does have turnable steering, so it's got a little steering rack just here. Um, yeah, there's some really nice little details considering, excuse me, how basic the kit actually is. Painted the gearbox, which is this nice little bit here. Still got the masking around that because it's got an orange uh, or a body coloured bracket. Let's take that off while we're on camera. That'll be something new for you guys to watch on me doing. There we go, look. I do use masking tape occasionally, but not very often. So yeah, that just goes into the chassis somewhere. A little bit like something like that eventually. So yeah, it's a nice brace across there. I might paint that black actually, but it doesn't look like an orange. Doesn't look white in body colour. I think it needs to be black. Got a nice mountain point in black on that, I reckon. But yeah, it looks smart. It's going to be easy enough to fit that in. I've got to show you these wheels though, because these wheels in this kit are absolutely stunning. Look at them, look. Probably the nicest set of wheels I've had in any kit. Tires have got Dunlop on one side and what's on the other side here? Yeah, I can't read it. Goodyear's on the opposite side. Normal Tamiya push fittings. Um, this one's got a solid beam rear axle, so it's just a, a silver metal bar that goes through the middle. The rears are quite a deep dish one. Fronts aren't so deep and slightly different size height-wise as well. So I think the front's sort of like a 13, the rear's like a 15. I'm trying to keep it in view for you guys. I'm really not good with this camera, but camera work just yet i'm getting there but not fully there yet so yeah they fit in and they proper fill the arches and as you can see that is gonna look absolutely gorgeous on there get a nice bit of stance with that pop it tuck, possibly try and tuck it up in the arch a little bit more than it should be i like a nice little bit of tuck on the on the wheels um, but yeah, really nice kit to work with, very basic, but you get a lot of decals. Again, I'm not going to be using those because I don't really build race cars. My Skyline was a bit of a one-off, but considering this is from like, what's this, 1987, 1988, I think this kit was released. They're not in bad shape. I don't know how well they'd last if I tried them. This one's going a bit yellow down here, but they're not too bad overall. Um, possibly use one of those sort of... Uh, techniques that people use with the microsole and microset to sort of reset them but yeah that's pretty much it for this kit um, I'm going to crack on with it and try and make some progress tonight um, yeah we'll see what happens get the body prepped I think and paint it up nicely go from there I'm going to try and add a few more videos more regularly I'm going to do a few more unboxing videos because I've got a few kits that people uh, may not have seen so I'm a massive Ford collector um, so I like all my older Ford stuff and uh, I've got some oddball Japanese bits that will get built at some point I definitely plan on building everything I've got and uh, yeah we'll go through some of my stash and have a look but this is the update for this evening my little rear thing Capri that we're gonna build up nicely so Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to give me a like, uh, subscribe, comment if you feel you need to. Um, I, I take everything as positive, so you're not going to offend me if you'd put something on there like, oh, you've done a really bad job with that or whatever. Tell me, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'd rather know and then I know how to improve. So, yeah. And again, big thanks to Keith for uh, giving me that shout out because 
noticeably increased my subscribers. So thank you very much for that. Have a good evening, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.